Hey YouTube, back again with another video. It's been a little over two days since I got the Galaxy Watch 4 and paired it with my Surface Duo 2. And everything's been going quite well. Um, the response time between uh, the notifications coming in on my Surface Duo to appearing on the watch is almost instant. Um, so no issues there. The one big issue that I ran across with this is that if you have a non-Samsung phone, the Do Not Disturb capability, so when your phone goes into Do Not Disturb, your watch does not. So I spent some time trying to figure out a solution for this, and I got a solution that I'm going to share with you guys right now. And uh, it's going to require that you you sideload some apps, uh, an app on the phone and an app on Wear OS, on the watch, and you will have to run a command from your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include in the description a link to the, uh, the files that you're going to need to download, uh, including the two APKs, one for the phone and one for the watch, and then the program that you're going to need with the instructions on what you're going to have to run. Okay, so let's check out the Do Not Disturb functionality between the watch and the phone. So you can see here, if I go to the phone and I go and I hit Do Not Disturb, you see immediately it changes on the watch. And if I do that uh, on the watch, turn off Do Not Disturb, you notice it goes off on the phone and vice versa. So turning it back on on the watch, turns it on on the phone. Now I can confirm that when the watch or the phone automatically shifts into do not disturb mode um, right before bedtime it does still that command translates over into the into the watch now the watch has this additional setting this uh, bedtime mode and you can see bedtime mode also sets the phone to do not disturb now there is a way and I'll show you that in a second there is a way that if you put your uh, your phone in Do Not Disturb, that it will actually turn on bedtime mode uh, on the watch. Now I think the difference between Do Not Disturb and bedtime mode, and maybe around the the phone, the the screen on the watch, uh, completely going off. Okay, so let me show you some. Let me show you what that app looks like and what the settings look like. So first, let's take a look at it on the the phone. Okay, so the app is called DND Sync. You may have heard of that. And um, let's let's just fold this into single screen mode. So DND Sync. Let's zoom into it. And on the um, phone, it just has one setting: send, do not disturb, state to the watch. So obviously, you've got to have this turned on in order for that command to find its way over to the watch. Now on the watch, the there is an app also that's installed and I'm going to show that to you. Okay, so it looks like this. And you can see here it's got a setting that says sync you do not disturb state to the phone. So this is what allows me to, when I hit do not disturb on the watch, updates the phone. There's this bedtime. It says use bedtime mode on do not disturb sync. So it says requires accessibility service. I'll get to that in a second. Vibration. So the watch will vibrate when it gets the command to go into do not disturb. Permission. It says do not disturb access granted. This is where you're going to need to do something special. That's running that software that I talked about in order to mark this app with the access rights for Do Not Disturb. So that's going to be explained in the documentation, the link that I, that I send to you. If you have any problems, just hit me up in the comments and I'll help you get through it. Okay? Accessibility service uh, is connected. Now, this accessibility service allows me to, allows the phone to control the bedtime action on the watch 
And the way that it controls it is that essentially, let's go back to the phone for a second. So on the phone, when I go into Do Not Disturb, and I've turned this option on, and I hit the Do Not Disturb, you'll see now that it goes into bedtime mode. And the way that it's gone into bedtime mode is that it actually it pulls down the, uh, the settings and actually taps on this middle button. Okay, so it kind of does a manual you know, sort of automated way of tapping on the button. Now that's important because when you first get this watch out of the box, this middle button is the actual power button. It's not the bedtime button. So if you don't press and hold, for example, get these little things and move the buttons around, okay? If you don't move this button around, this is what it looks like when it comes um, out of the box. The power button's in the middle. When the power button's in the middle, watch what happens. Okay, so let's go on your phone again and I'm gonna do do not disturb and watch what happens on the watch. Okay, ready? Here we go. Tries to power off. It actually hits that middle button. So you've got to, if you're going to use the bedtime option, you just drag that bedtime into the middle top position, and that will make sure that um, if you are going to use the bedtime option, then the bedtime is going to um, click on the right button. Now I don't currently use it. Um, I just like just to do not disturb being turned off and on, not necessarily bedtime mode. So you can see do not disturb is on. It's uh, also on the phone and tapping it here. Oops, I guess I can't have the watch on the phone while I'm tapping it. Unlock the watch again. So you can see here, do not disturb on. If I tap it on the phone, it goes off. So it's instant. So how do we how do we set this up? Okay, so there's two things you have to do. Number one, you've got to download and sideload some APKs. Now, download the APK to your phone. You can um, you can open it up with a browser, for example, and you can sideload it. Just give the browser the access to install from anywhere. Okay, that'll get you the app on your phone. Now, how do you get the app on your watch? In order for you to install the APK on your watch, you're going to have to do the following. We're going to have to pull down the shade, go into settings, okay? scroll all the way down on settings to about watch okay then scroll down until you get to software tap on software now you see this version number we're going to tap on that five times okay ready one two three four five and notice it says here developer mode is turned on so what that's going to allow you to do is if i go back now oops if i go back and go back, you will see there's a new option here. It says developer options. So you got to go into developer options and you're going to scroll down and this ADB debugging, you're going to turn that on. Okay, it's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes, I am. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to turn on debug over Wi Fi. Now it's already on for me, I had turned it on before and you're going to do debug over Wi-Fi. Now, if you've done this correctly, you should see, you should pop up an option that says, hey, do you want to debug, yes or no? Do you want to allow this? You've got to make sure you say yes. And once you say yes, you'll notice here, you're going to get uh, an IP address uh, as well as a port number. Okay, now in this case, here, um, this is actually connecting and giving me an IP6 address, but you're going to get an, uh, 
you know, like a, a 192, 168, um, you know, 1 1.1, 1, for example, and colon 5555. 5, 5. And that's the important thing that you need for the app that you're going to run. Because it's going to ask you for the address of your watch and the uh, port number. So remember, whatever IP address you have here, it's just going to look like a 192.168 if that's what your what your your Wi-Fi network is set to. But it's going to end in colon 555 or 5555. Okay, so remember that because you're going to need to do that in order to sideload the app and to set the access rights. Okay, so and things you know, you need to remember once you're done that. Okay, don't forget to go back into settings, developer options and turn off this debugging okay because you don't want it to drain your battery just turn it off and if you want to get rid of the the developer tools you don't want to see that anymore well the way that you do that is you just go back to the settings again about watch scroll down just like you did before software and we tap on it again five times one two three four five and it goes away so now when you go back you don't see developer tools anymore okay keeps your interface nice and clean now once you've got that set up in debug mode run the commands on your pc uh, again it's outlined in the it's going to be outlined on the page i'm going to send you to it's a github page uh, where the dev built this so give them some love um, and once you install that, sideload these two, run the permissions, you should be able to come into your watch, okay, and do what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to set it, turn on, do not disturb. Instantly happens on the watch. I'm going to do it on the watch. Instantly happens on the phone. And you've solved one of the biggest issues when you have a non Samsung watch, a Samsung phone with the Samsung Galaxy watch. That alone has saved me. <laughs> I've saved this combination. I will continue testing this so far. It's been it's been decent. The one other thing that I'm really not liking is the fact that um, what I liked with the iPhone and the Apple watch is if I once I put my watch on my wrist and I unlocked my phone, then my watch was unlocked and that was pretty convenient and didn't have to try to put in the code doesn't do the same thing with the galaxy watch and maybe that's another setting that i can dig into see if there's a way to do that but other than that um, for those asking whether or not the notifications happen fairly quickly between the watch and the phone it's almost instant um, i'll hear the phone and my watch will go off right away so there you have it that's my tip for the day hey you've made it this far don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be alerted for any other videos that i put up about the surface duo and the galaxy watch i'll be getting in a new pair of uh, earbuds tomorrow i'm going to pair them with the surface duo and let you guys know how that works out so look out for that don't forget subscribe hit the bell icon <laughs>